Nika next, then FT, and then we've got two nice. So make some noise for Lana and Nika, everyone. <laughs> Hi there. So I think my word for the night is like overwhelmed because I've never been to this night before and I've been doing poetry for like three decades. So I'm overwhelmed that I've missed this out. Somebody gave me their spot. So I'm overwhelmed about that too. And the poem that I'm about to do is, is there anyone in this room who gets called mum? This is for you. Is there anyone in this room who calls somebody mum? Yeah. That's for the person you're talking to. <laughs> and because if your name is mum, or you call somebody mum, just be aware that person is overwhelmed, right? Because the entire universe is resting on that woman's shoulders. And you might not even notice her, but she's noticing you. And while you miss out her, and give her a present on Mother's Day, because you forgot, call up the next day and that shit, that woman is doing everything all day long without getting any thanks. So this is called The Hand That Rocks The Cradle, because I'm called Mum, I'm even called Granny. I know, imagine, right? I, I wasn't, it, I, it was all a surprise to me, it was I didn't think it through. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is called The Hand That Rocks The Cradle. The hand that rocks the cradle should also rock the boat, do the shopping, fight oppression, do the laundry, stay afloat, bear the children, hold a job down and utilise her vote and love the children, bring them up well and write the school a note and while she's at it there's the homeless and the hungry and the sick and the lonely and the aged and oh yeah the housework quick and she'd like to fit a bath in and find time to paint her nails with all of that and more to do she isn't gonna fail to rise to the occasion with the necessary flair with her head up and her eyes bright in her favourite party wear. Stand up, sister. Bring the baby. Reach out. Don't pass the buck, because tomorrow's in the balance and we're running out of luck. The hand that rocks the cradle wields the power. Yeah, that's you. And what we need around this planet is a change in our attitudes to the women that give us so much of themselves, who pick up our shit and then store it as well, who remember the birthdays, who clean up the crap, who don't get paid and don't get thanked. No status, no pension, no sick pay, no wage, no prospects, no promotion, no holidays, no lunch break, no union, no company car. Keep on rocking that boat till they know who we are. Thank you. And this is just another quick one, which is on the same theme. And it's called Kitchen Songs. And it's a big up to all the mothers and all the women, regardless. And also to the dads who raise up their youths. My sister's arms are warm and strong, their voices rich with kitchen songs, and in their eyes are joys and sorrows, broken dreams and bright tomorrows, troubles many, praises few, a myriad of things to do, births and deaths and lives go on, the composition of their songs, which ripple out into the future, empowered in their state of nurture. My sister's arms are warm and strong, Wrong. Their voices rich with kitchen songs, and in the creases of their faces are memories of the human races, loving made, children born, broken nights and early dawns, the cornerstones of education, the alchemy of our creation, mapping out as they are able, the secrets of the kitchen table. Thank you. It's a delight to be here. 
I will definitely be back. Big up to everybody involved, venue, promoter, and this amazing young woman. Thank you. I'm going to have to share that poem with my mum.